transforming lives one tennis ball at a time. Here to tell us about the passionate community at the heart of the Tennis Congress and their massive training event coming up is Executive Director Gary Ines. Gary, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Of course. So what else can you tell us about the Tennis Congress? Uh, the Tennis Congress is sometimes a tough thing to explain. My favorite way to explain it is that it is a celebration of tennis. It is the world's best coaches, most passionate coaches, coming together with the most passionate adult athletes, coming together to learn from each other and really put on a really great tennis event and help everybody reach new heights and make breakthroughs in their own games. Sounds perfect for anybody who's really been trying to make, uh, you know, efforts to get better at tennis. And this is certainly great to be able to network with actual professionals. Um, how did it start in the first place? The Tennis Congress was founded by PJ Simmons, who is an absolute visionary and a passionate tennis player himself and loves everything about the game. He was taking a tennis lesson and he looked across the fence and he noticed that there was a group of high performance juniors and they seemed to be getting a more serious training session than he was. And so he scratched his head a little bit and thought about what would it look like if you brought leaders in the industry, some of the best coaches in the industry, together with passionate adult tennis players like himself that are very serious about their training and want to learn on court, off court, physical, all, mental, all the aspects that could take your game to new heights. And so he made a couple calls, uh, put together uh, the coaches and gathered a network of adults and the Tennis Congress was born. And it's really our driving force behind the foundation. And, you know, through the Net Gains Foundation over the years, we've been able to uh, support wheelchair athletes. We've been able to support uh, clubs that are providing underprivileged kids with tennis playing opportunities. And more recently, we launched a project called the Rise Project, which we did a search for a WTA player and an ATP player that, are, that have the potential to be great. Um, but have a certain restrictions, such as financial restrictions, um, that are holding them back from maybe reaching their full potential. So there's uh, there's a lot of a lot of projects that we work on, but at the core of it, the Net Gains Foundation uh, is always using tennis tennis as a catalyst to change lives. And with those those three projects that we've we've worked on, um, that has been really rewarding to see how tennis has opened up different doors for all sorts of different people, and the fact that we've been able to not only support uh, different projects, but also the bandwidth of uh, the reach that we have with the Net Gains Foundation, because tennis is a global sport. We are not restricted to what, who we can share this game with and how it can transform different lives. What else can you tell us about the event and what's going to take place over those, those days? Really exciting event. Um, you know, for anyone that loves tennis and more so for anyone that uh, tennis has had a positive impact on their life, we're bringing in uh, some of the top coaches from all around the country, leaders in the, in the areas, um, to put on a, a really special event. What's special about the Tennis Congress is when you sign up for that event, it's not your run-of-the-mill tennis camp. We customize your experience. We're going to send you a questionnaire that's going to ask you what you need to make breakthroughs in your game and help you reach that next level. It's going to be an on-court and off-court experience, which also makes it very unique. You've got classroom presentations on singles and doubles strategy, uh, mental toughness, how, how to over overcome the, the demons in the mind that, that maybe are stopping you from making those breakthroughs. We've got talks on nutrition. We've got talks on how to, how to run faster and how to move smoother and how to uh, avoid injuries. And so we're packing that all into a weekend. It's, uh, it starts on a Thursday evening. And then we on the court and off the court all day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, the other thing that's really exciting is we're going to be able to highlight our Rise Project candidates. We're going to be work. We're going to be working side by side uh, with uh, with coaches and passionate athletes and show it, and really sharing stories about how tennis has been transformative to all our lives. Yeah, I can definitely. You know, if you're a beginner, for for example, like I am, it can be difficult to to get into it and not become discouraged because it does take practice and, and and more than that it takes the right instruction and so this is a huge opportunity for people uh, to actually like I mentioned network with professionals and, and get real hands-on learning if viewers can't make it to the event uh, how can they get involved in other ways there's so many other ways you can get involved uh, like I said the tennis Congress is a special event and it's, it's something we, we do all together but 
the Net Gains Foundation really is uh, is a special network, and we're, we're sharing tennis with so many people. Um, you can head to the web to our website, tenniscongress.org. Um, you can poke around and see uh, for you can put yourself a wait list for future events, or join our mailing list to see when future events pop up, and maybe there's some things that will be closer to you or uh, during a time that you'd be able to attend. But the, the other thing that you can do is, yes, uh, we'd love to see uh, donations being made. We're about to launch a campaign called A Thousand Aces. Um, this is going to be our campaign that's going to help support our projects, going to help support our ATP and WTA player, um, or also the, the other projects that we support uh, through the NetGains Foundation. Um, you can also volunteer in different ways. It doesn't have to all be financial. There's, uh, you know, we're a small organization, but we have a lot of reach and we're a mighty organization because of, of the work we've been able to do. But we do need help in other areas, such as you might be a, a graphic designer or you might have uh, legal advice. You might be an accountant. There's there's other pro bono ways that you could uh, you could help uh, support the, the foundation uh, by volunteering hours of service. We've had uh, sports psychologists on our network volunteer hours of service to our, our rising athletes. We've had uh, coaches volunteer their time uh, to come and be a part of this event. We've had, uh, you know, volunteers come out just to help set up and break down the event. So there's a lot of different ways that you can get involved. Um, if you go to our website, you'll be able to uh, check on some of those ways that you can get involved. But there's really no limitations. We, we, uh, we love that uh, tennis brings us together. And there's a lot of people that just from all walks of life, uh, might never walk into the same room together, except tennis brings us together. We all come together because we love being on the court and we love the sport, love what the sport has done for us and the doors it's open. So lo lots of ways outside of just financial, but if uh, tennis has changed your life in any way and you'd like to give back to the sport, whether it's uh, financially or offering up services that you specialize in, uh, we'd love all the help that we can get. Something for everybody. Gary Innes, thank you so much for your time, and congrats ahead of time on another great tennis conference. Thank you so much.